When the sun rises, the little star fades away. And today, our sun, the sun of Antioch, our chief shepherd, we welcome you, Sayyidina New Church. We pray in God, listen to our prayer in the Holy Spirit, said Oxio. We are all your children. Excuse the noises, crowd, but they're all here to come and say, Blessed is he who comes to us in the name of the Lord. We welcome each and every one of you and invite you to a brunch reception in the activity center immediately after his eminence. Bless the door. We welcome his grace, Bishop Anthony, Diocese of the Midwest, the clergy, the deacon, the subdeacon, the altar boy, and our city official, Mark Johnson, Colleen Burton, and Liz Jarvis. You will have the chance to meet them at the activity center running for the election. Sayyidina, bless us. Please welcome us. Salud. 
fortunate for the accomplishments, for the achievements, but most importantly for the love of the people toward him and his family. He loves you, you love him. That is a holy community. So my family today, beloved in Christ, will be the feeling of all of us being in this holy facility. So when I am here in the midst of all the beautiful cloud of witnesses, the holy people are coming to visit us. The holy people are coming to bless Livonia and all the people. The holy saints depicted on the walls, but most importantly, they are depicted in our holy tradition, in us, within us. When I am in this holy basilica, I feel myself in the holy dormition of Balaman. The Balaman Monastery where we grew up, Father, jo Father George and I, from very little age. When I am praying with all of you in this holy basilica, my mind goes to Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. The greatness, the beautiful presence, the beautiful parousia means the presence of God in the midst of the community. So when I am praying in this holy basilica, my mind goes to the church, to the most beautiful cathedral in Moscow, Christ the Savior. This one is no less than what I mentioned. While I am praying with all of you, my mind, beloved in Christ, goes all the way to Jerusalem, to Palestine, to the Holy Church of the Holy Resurrection. My mind goes everywhere to heaven. So that's why the Lord of Christ, once upon a time, once upon a time when the Prince of Kiev was looking for the best religion to adopt and to embrace. He sent his people, he sent his representatives everywhere to attend many clergies and many, many liturgies and many churches and many prayers. So finally they ended in Constantinople, in the church of Hagia Sophia, and they went back to the prince of Kiev. He said, what did you find? They said to him, the best liturgy ever, the best religion ever in this life is the divine liturgy in the Orthodox Church. Because while they were there, they didn't, they couldn't tell whether they were on, on earth or in heaven. So today we are in heaven in Christ. We know each other, we know that we are human beings, but we come to this earth, we come to this life temporary in order to prepare ourselves for heaven. I pray for this holy community to continue witnessing for the Orthodox faith. I pray for Father George and Father Jim and all the clergy, the deacons, the parish council, the organizations, 
the believers, the visitors, I pray for all of you to think of heaven more than anything else. Yesterday I tried to say in the banquet that this holy community is magnificent, but here the mind and the soul and the body has to be like this magnificence exactly. It has to be like this beauty, this heavenly beauty, exactly. So that's why we believe in forgiveness. We believe in forgiveness. We believe in virtuous life. We believe in all the Christian values. We believe in purity of mind and body and soul like this here. The most holy version, the most holy Theotokos, what makes her special in our life? Because she was pure in mind, in soul, and in body. That's why we rush to her. We mention her name million of times a day. Because she keeps interceding with Christ for us. Beloved in Christ, you have to be proud of yourselves for the accomplishment. I saluted Father George and the clergy, but I salute as well all the leaders of this holy community. Those who passed away, may their memory be eternal. And those who are with us, I ask them and I pray for them to keep the spirit of the leadership, the godly leadership in this holy community. Beloved in Christ, at the end of this beautiful divine liturgy, we will look at the Pandocrat, we will look at the beautiful evangelists, we will look at everything around us. And when we look, when we put our eyes on each one of them, that is a call. That is a message for all of us to emulate what we see. You know, this holy community with the iconography is not for a museum, but it is for a good example, a living example in our life. When we look at any of the icons, our mind, our soul, and our body, and all our being, This is the, 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 the meaning of having iconography in the church. We don't have iconography just to decorate the walls, but we become like them exactly and we emulate their example and we emulate their life. So thank God. Thank God million of times for this great community. And I pray for you daily and I ask you to pray for my ministry. I ask you to pray for my clergy. I ask you to pray for all the believers everywhere around this holy archives. Something happened. We remember our late Metropolitan Philip, blessed memory. His example, his touch, his, his, his ministry will never disappear from us. But now it is a new page. We have to continue what we have received from great bishops and our archbishops. 
Beloved, in Christ you have to believe, you have to double your intense, intensify your prayer. Because the evil one never sleeps. The evil one is ready to snatch any one of us, to snatch the joy, to snatch our faith, to snatch our children, if possible. But we, per we are persistent. We are persistent and we are very, very confident that God will never leave us alone when we trust Him. So thank God for all of you and may, may the beauty, may the presence of God stay in your life, visit you at home. Yesterday I said, the church is to heal. That church is to forgive. That church is to renew people. That church is to sanctify people. That church is to lead. That church is to give a good example. So let us keep this holy church as holy. God bless you all. And may God bless and have mercy on us all. Thank you.